Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to pay tribute to all the South Sudanese leaders who have shown great magnanimity and have responded to the calls of distress of their people. I would like to commend the mediation team, IGAD, and the President of the Republic of Sudan for the progress made in enabling this significant accomplishment. Acknowledging African solutions to African problems, Somalia acknowledges Igad's role in staying the course in the peacekeeping and national reconciliation of South Sudan. Your Excellencies, a little over a year ago, I attended the Igad Extraordinary Summit in South Sudan, in Addis Ababa where I made the plea to you to learn from our experiences and not take the same path we, the Somalis, too. I shared then how easy it is to destroy a nation and how difficult it has been to rebuild ours. One year on, though we have made progress with our country, it is still my contention that changing a narrative of a destroyed nation is perhaps more difficult than rebuilding the nation itself. We know that this plight in the history of your young nation will not define you, but I am here today to share with you that the difficulties and the possibilities in overcoming it. The similarities between our two countries are too striking to ignore. On the positive side, to the brothers and sisters of South Sudan, Somalia and South Sudan both exhibit enormous potential as economic powerhouses with vast and untapped natural resources and entrepreneurial population. In the same vein, we share our place as well in the bottom two, in the bottom two of most fragile countries in Africa according to the 2017 Fragile State Index of Fund for Peace with South Sudan as the most fragile followed by my own country, Somalia. It is for this reason today that I share with you our hard lesson, the importance of compromise for the sake of our people. And that is not a sign of weakness, but rather a sign of strength and foresight. Your Excellencies, Head of State and Government, brothers and sisters, a wind of change has been sweeping the region for the past year. And Somalia does not want to be left behind, and I'm sure South Sudan is the same. We therefore have learned the painful lesson that with conflict and instability, there's a little opportunity for development and economic growth. We recognize that by not resolving our problems, we not only affect our progress and development, but that of our neighbors and the region. And it is our duty, both South Sudan and Somalia, to contribute the progress the region and the continent is making. It is for this reason that we urge you today to not tread in our footsteps, but to charge forward on this new path for the sake of the people of South Sudan. South Sudanese redemption will be a source of pride as Somalia's recovery is as a sustained East African and African effort. What do we see today? is African solution 
to African problems, made it possible by African leaders led by the President of South, the President of Sudan, and we are grateful to his efforts. In conclusion, Your Excellencies, I would like to reaffirm Somalia's commitment to the restoration of peace, security, and stability inside Sudan and the rest of the region. Thank you.